Hi everyone, welcome back to Delta Drive Designs. We're here upstairs in the loft, got a little side project we're working on to help support the M677 project. We got here a uh, Eastwood 27 inch bead roller I bought last year, um, intentionally to work on some of these uh, panels on this Jeep. This will be good for doing some of like the uh, flanges, the, the doors, like doing the hem hems on the uh, edge of the doors and whatnot. So I got this guy, but you know, I tried using it a little while ago and it's really hard to uh, run it over here when you're trying to feed metal here. And they sell a motorized kit, but it's like 500 bucks and it's out of stock. So it's a double whammy. So I've got this motor I, I dug out of the trash years ago. Um, I saved two of these guys from the dumpster where they like two horsepower, one horsepower. AC motors, uh, 208. And then I also saved the VFDs that went with them. Uh, they're, they're good VFDs in that they'll accept single phase uh, 220 and then turn it into three phase 208. Uh, the magic of VFDs. If you don't know about VFDs, they're awesome because you can get deals on three phase equipment and easily convert them to a single phase. So if anyone's interested in some tutorials on how to do that, I've got, I don't know, like four or five tools, like my Delta table saw, this guy converted it. It's a five horsepower motor. I converted it to it's three phase. I converted it with a VFD, a mill downstairs, a few other things, that dust collector, that's three phase. So yeah, anyways, back to this guy. So, um, so we got the motor. <laughs> We're gonna try something interesting here. Yeah, I've got a 3D printer. We're gonna try it. I know it's probably not gonna work, but let's see how strong some uh, you know, basic 15% uh, inlay or uh, um, what's it called? I'm drawing a blank right now. 15% uh, infill. There it is, infill. Uh, on this guy, design these uh, sprockets. It's a it's a metric five five millimeter pitch belt that came with this guy. Um, the reason why I'm having to do this is this gearbox is only a 10 to 1 and I want to get closer to 101. Uh, unfortunately, this is the biggest ratio I could do in my printer because this is the biggest big pulley I could do and the smallest small pulley I could do, um, which ends up giving me exactly 75 to 1. This is 156 tooth and 21 tooth. And then, yeah, that gives us a 75 to 1, which happens to be exactly what the, uh, the kit they sell for this guy. So we should be getting in the right... All right, ballpark. Plus, on the VFD, I've got speed control for that. Uh, so we can work with this. So, all right, well, that's uh plan here. Is I got some angle iron here already drilled and ready to go. Pulled out the two bolts that hold uh, the back end of this apart, which I believe is the same way the, uh, um, the kit that Eastwood sells is. And then I'll drop the motor down, get rid of this crappy handle. Hopefully never use that again bolt it all up and get the motor mounted and we'll give it a try good deal stay tuned all right we got it all bolted together the motor mounted angle iron mounted uh the two sprockets mounted and we did a quick test spin on it and unfortunately i immediately broke it um, because when i tightened down this block i didn't have dies on the end over here so that end was sagging real hard so then when i put the dies back on and pulled it back up it bound up this like really bad it's like i couldn't even turn it by hand but i didn't realize that i flipped the motor on and it just motor's quite strong and it just broke my hub you can see it cracked there uh but uh not a total loss like the main thing i was after testing is the teeth configuration um and it seems to be meshing pretty well um both the lowers and the uppers and uh, I think it's working enough to give it a test run. So let's go ahead and fire it up. So we got it yeah, about 11 hertz, about a sixth of its speed. And I've got the uh, offset die set up. And let's go ahead and run it in. Yeah, this is running, I don't know, I'd probably say two or three RPM out at the dies. 
I don't know, probably more than that. I don't know. Probably about 10 inches per minute, thereabouts, which is probably medium speed for what I'd want to do. So, because you know, I'm new to this, I've never used a bead roller before. This is literally the first time, so I'm learning as we go. Um, yeah, let's give that a shot. Come off. So, yeah, I probably want to go a little slower as I learn it. Yeah, that made like a nice, let's say about a quarter inch offset. Here's my previous test run in the same setting, and that was the outfeed of it. So, where was that? No, that was the start. So, that one got a little better start than that one. But let's go ahead and try it again. Let's see if I can get a better start on this one. Yeah, it's probably because I'm doing it one handed. Trying to hold the camera. Oh, that's going to look weird. An offset on top of an offset. This is just some old, old furnace that I was going to install in here, but it ended up being too questionable. So I ended up buying a, um, an actual Mr. Heater brand. I don't think I got on top of, uh, oh well. Yeah, I mean, despite, you know, the broken hub back there, I mean, it seems to be working all right. Like, that's a pretty, pretty healthy offset, quarter inch and one, one shot. Yeah, and this is, what, 18 gauge metal, probably? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty decent. And, you know, that's, you know, I'm doing this as a test because one, you know, one of the main things I'm going to be doing is making a whole new floor panel for the Jeep bed floor panel and so I will likely end up using the offset dies uh, to do that and you know if it if I get a good setup maybe I'll pump out a bunch and give them to people or sell them to people who are interested but not get ahead of myself uh, I get this going first all right I go ahead and shut her down um, you know this is just obviously mock up mock ups mocked up setup right now um, this the VFD I'll get mounted either in a box or on the side of the machine and then I'll wire in a foot pedal for the speed control and e-stop because uh, you always need an e-stop when you have rotating equipment and um, should be pretty good setup once it's all done and then on the pulley you know again this proof of concept I wasn't didn't have high hopes for this kind of expected something along this line these lines but what I can do, it's easy enough, is I can either see if I can purchase a like a weld-on hub or bolt-on hub that fits this shaft, which is 20, it's a 24 millimeter shaft, 24.8 millimeter shaft. Um, or, um, or I'll just uh, machine my own, you know, and then modify this pulley so that I can, you know, have a bunch of bolts around it that are reinforced and then bolt that on um, to an actual like aluminum hub. And that'll last a lot better than a plastic hub. And yeah, if I get it, you know, if I do a big enough hub and I get lots of bolts on it, you know, this this plastic pulley should be more than strong enough for the kind of forces we're dealing with over here. Um, I would buy a pulley, but like most, this is it's hard to find a pulley in this configuration or this size. Uh, and also, I could go chain, but you know, I have this. You know, this is I haven't spit anything on this setup besides. Maybe two dollars in filament. So try to make do with what I got. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Tune in next time for upgrades to this guy. Take it easy.